Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors Ready. lightweight division. Ready. Let's go. Nicolo Salinas in the white with black trim. Matt Camilleri in the maroon and grey. Yeah, big spin kick straight out the straight out the gate here from Salinas. Single leg attempt here from Camilleri. Gets it. Salinas on the neck here. Still giving up a considerable amount of height. Salinas 5'10, Camilleri 5'7. Not as much as he was giving up against uh, Ryan Shelley. He's <laughs> over six foot, obviously, but it's not going to matter when he's got those arms around you and dragged you to the mat. Yeah, nice body lock here from Camilleri. Looking to take the back here, but he has an underhook on that side, which is uh, st uh, stopping Camilleri from turning the corner. Back in on the single leg here. He's got to be careful that Salinas doesn't get a hold of his neck here. Completes the takedown attempt. Uh, Camilleri, uh, sorry, I should say, he's trying to get over the knees when he's doing this, uh, oh, sorry, when he gets the takedown against the cage. He's trying to get above the knees, sprawl his hips out, so Salinas has nowhere to go but take shots. There's the guillotine attempt here coming up. Just lets it go. We know Camilleri can do this for three five-minute rounds, no problem, and he's surely just wanting to wear Salinas out here. Making him wrestle as much as possible in the early offing. That's better from Camilleri, letting some shots go. Watch for him to drop back in here for a single leg. Pulls the ankle off the cage there. As you say, Paul, he needs to keep it up with those shots. There were some nice punches landed there. The referee's not going to let them hang out in this position if they're not advancing, if they're not doing damage, if they're not looking for submissions. I think Salinas is just riding the wave here. Gets back to his feet. And Camilleri is going to go straight back to a single leg here. You can see him reaching across. So Salinas can't come out from the cage. Double leg attack, a big double leg takedown here, I should say. It's it's tasty wrestling, but I'd like to see more aggression off the back of it when it hits the ground. Same again, Camilleri just looking to take the back here, but it's Salinas' arm on the inside that's stopping him. Gives it up, so Camilleri can actually sit Salinas up. You can see, watch his left leg come around the corner, take the second hook in. It's a bad spot for Salinas here. Camilleri almost just mount there when he is. Just slides into mount. Salinas gives up his back here. Camilleri looking for a body lock. Got to be careful here, he doesn't come off the side. Yeah, just gets that body lock, which is going to strap him in. Ellis Hampson there in the corner of Camilleri. They're calling for the finish. There's the arms around the neck. He's got the short choke here. Camilleri looking for a big squeeze, just switching arms now. Yeah, I'd like to see Camilleri just try to shoot a few shots off, maybe soften them up. Stop, stop. stop Rich Mitchell is just uh, fixing the tape on the hands. Do not put your thumb in his glove again. Here, hold. I, I think maybe there was a grab of the gloves there. Don't do that again. And that's why the referee switched that hand position. We'll try and get that clarified for you between rounds, maybe. But that's why Mitch is one of the best in the game. Come on, Larry, look at the pound away from the back now. Yeah, but he's throwing shots here, and, you know, they're just landing on the arms of Salinas. I would like to see him come underneath the armpit and actually land on the face to, to soften Salinas up. 
And I think that there was just another warning there about grabbing the glove. Of course, you, you can grab the glove, but you can't put your fingers inside it. The last 10 seconds here of the fourth round. It's Bernardo come, coming early this round, but sometimes not the most uh, pleasant to watch when it's just a uh, soft grappling type. Cavalieri very aggravated about something. And they're going to have to get the cut man to remove the tape from Camilleri's glove. Don't you? you grab the glove like that. If you do it again, that's two. If you do it again, you're going to lose a point. Do you understand? Don't do okay, that Okay, referee again. Rich Mitchell there you issuing the warning, and it was, Ready. as we suspected, Paul, for, for grabbing the gloves. I think it was for grabbing the thumb. Because he, he, Camilleri was saying, you know, he was pointing at his thumb, saying, you know, it's hurting him. That's what Rich is. Oh, OK, that would be it then. Of course, you, you, no small joint manipulation. You cannot grab individual fingers or toes. But Rich Mitchell did say, if it happens again, you're losing points. And they're going at it on the feet now. Good sprawl there from Salinas. Tries the head kick, let's get barreled over. Yeah, not the, not the smartest of moves if uh, your opponent is such a good wrestler like Camilleri. He was landing the jab, he was landing his right hand. Camilleri's got to be careful with the armbar here. Nice hop over the butterfly guard from Camilleri. Salinas just puts him back in half guard. I'd like to see uh, Salinas come up onto his left shoulder or his left arm and get the underhook on the far side. Camilleri never submitted as a pro, and you would think training with the guys in next gen, that submission defense is going to be on point. He's in a good spot to take the back here. He's just going to let go of Salinas' head. From where it is, we pull his arm around and sit around and take the corner. Or sorry, sorry, sit around the corner and take the back and get your second hook in. Or you can frame up here and pound away. He seems to be frantic in everything that he does. He's not his time for a big shot it's just all in with, with these little shots and you know they're not quite landing as clean as i'd like just passes the guard here to side control big elbow there oh and another one from camilleri and it's on salinas at this point to do something to get out of this spot camilleri just hammering away with those short elbows yeah, Salinas just shrimping back in here now, but he did turn back, sorry, turn and give us back there for a minute. Looking to come up here in a single leg. And Camilleri's just coming around to take the back. He's got to get the force hook in. Yeah, the corner was just screaming for Camilleri to take the back there. And he does. Plenty of time to work for this choke as well. Two minutes plus left in the round. Has one hook in on the outside. I would like to see him shift his hips underneath Salinas to get a second hook in. As the moment he's going to have to come up the half guard. He's a little bit high here. Repositions. Still has that one hook in on the left side. Pick your shots here. Pick your shots. Okay, there's the second hook. Does he have a bite on this one? He's got a boy out, right? But I'd like to see him come up and go belly down. There's a pass on this side. And it's over. Matt Cavalier. His first Cage Warriors victory, and he does it in style. It didn't look to be super tight, especially when his right hand was over the top rather than underneath um, to do the squeeze, or to put the squeeze on, I should say. That's why I was saying for Camilleri to come up and go belly down. I was saying it didn't look like it was over tight. Oh, yeah, he's got the short hook in on the left side. I thought he was looking for the rear naked. He's got a really tight squeeze on the left hand. You'll see Camilleri's left elbow coming in behind the shoulder of Salinas. Well, let's take a look at Paul Rimmer's reaction in the corner there. Very happy with his man's work. I think maybe a little bit of frustration seeping in there because they, they thought Camilleri could have got that done sooner, but he got it done in style. The tap comes, and Matt Camilleri 
gets his first win on the board here in Cage Warriors. Let's go to our man in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Rich Mitchell, calls a stop to this contest at three minutes and 13 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of rear naked choke in the red corner.